Welcome to Hebrew Reader Church family. We hope everybody is being blessed by the Most High, Haya Asheri Haya, and His Son Yahweh Messiah. This is part three of the How to Pray series. Uh, we hope you go and check out part one and part two. And this is just the the new revelation of the of the series. So we wanted to add this so that everybody could gain understanding uh, and be powerful in your prayers. Brother Kasafo. So this lesson, this revelation was interesting because a question arose of why do we close our eyes to pray? And I was like, well, let's search the scriptures to see what the believers did because we get our guidance through the law and testimony. And let's see what they did so that we may have guidance on how we ought to pray. Matthew chapter 14, verse 19, please. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and the two fishes and looking up to heaven, he blessed and break and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. So we see when he was given thanks, he would just look up to heaven and bless his food. All right, let's see. Let's get another example in John chapter 11, verse 41. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Yahshua lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Then we see he looked straight up to the Father. And let's see also what other believers did. Can you read Tobit, chapter 3, verse 11 and 12, please? Then she prayed toward the window and said, Blessed art thou. O Lord, my Elohim, and thine holy and glorious name is blessed and honorable forever. Let all thy works praise thee forever. And now, O Lord, I set my eyes and my face toward thee. Notice, she set her eyes and her face toward him. So we have a few examples to see that people actually look toward Elohim when praying or giving thanks unto him or blessing their food. And it helps understand what Daniel was doing when he was facing Jerusalem in Daniel 6 and 10. All right, can you read that, please? Now, when Daniel knew that the writings were signed, he went into his house, and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his Elohim, as he did aforetime. And now he better helps understand why he had his window open towards him because he wanted to look out to look unto Allah I am. we they're both examples of what Yache did as well I mean sorry we got that example we also have an example of what Yache commanded to do uh, Matthew 6 and 6 but, please. but thou when thou prayest enter into thy closet and when thou hast shut thy door pray to thy father which is in secret and thy father will see if and secrets shall reward thee openly. So we have you go into your personal sp space and you look up and pray unto your Father that seeth in secret and may he reward thee openly. We also pray with outstretched hands in righteousness. So it was also discussing where, you know, we were taught to pray with our hands clasped together, but scripturally right, like they this. didn't pray so. All right, they they prayed hands, outstretched hands to Allah So that gives us understanding how we ought to pray as well. Can we read First Timothy chapter 2, verse 8, please? I would therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. And remember, we have to come out of our iniquities that our prayers may be heard. Isaiah 1 and 15, please. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. So, wash, as James said, cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and be, I forgot the rest. But so, we know, cleanse our hands and be converted and be not double-minded and abstain from wrath and doubting so that our prayers may be heard. We can also bow our heads in worship. It's in Exodus chapter 34, verse 8, please. And Moses made haste and bowed his head toward the earth and worshiped. So a person, you can get all the way down on the ground to pray and give thanks. Um, 
Psalms 95 and 6. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before Ahaya, our maker. So that's also another means. They did it also as a group in Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 18, please. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before Ahaya, worshiping Ahaya. People will bow and stretch their hands in prayer at, at, during prayer times. You have, let's also look at First Ezra chapter 8, verse 72 and 73, please. So all they that were then moved at the word of the Lord, Elohim Israel, assembled unto me, while as I mourned for the iniquity. But I sat still, full of heaviness, until the evening sacrifice. All right. Then rising what up. What happened at the evening? Oh, sorry. This was sorry. What, what happened at the evening sacrifice? Continue. Then rising up from the fast with my clothes and my holy garments rent, and bowing my knees, and stretched forth my hands unto the Lord. So then we see he went into prayer. Also, you can also stand and pray or stretch forth hands toward Allah Hayyam. First Kings, chapter 8, verse 22. We see what Solomon did, please. And Solomon stood before the altar of Ahiah in the presence of all the congregation of Israel and spread forth his hands toward heaven. All right. When in repentance, we also look down to the ground. So I sing before our Lord. Uh, Luke chapter 18, verse 10, 13, and 14. Please. Luke chapter 18, verse 10. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. Chapter 18, verse 13. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift so much as his eyes up unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, Elohim, be merciful to me, a sinner. Luke chapter 18, verse 14. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Amen. Amen. We can, we can pray in our hearts as well, because our prayers doesn't actually have to be spoken out loud. Second, we can see, so that helps us understand why we're going about our day, you know, pray as well. Second Maccabees chapter 15, verse 26 and 27, please. But Judas and his company encountered the enemies with invocation and prayer, so that fighting with their hands and praying unto Allah with their hearts, they slew no less than thirty and five thousand men. For through the appearance of Allah they were greatly cheered. All right, so you see how you can be busy doing something and praying in the heart as well. Now, when it comes to blessing our food, how we pray over our food and our drink, let's get uh Guidance from our Lord. Matthew 26 and 26 and verse 27, please. And as they were eating, Yahweh took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. So there we have guidance for when it comes to our food, we look up and ask the Father to bless it and we eat. And when it comes to our drink, we look up and tell the Father, give the Father thanks for it, and we drink. And that's the simplicity of believers in Christ Yahweh. Right. Hopefully, that helps everyone to know the simplicity of just having conversation with Allah Hayyim. It's it's wonderful because it just shows He's really there. Just look up and talk to Him. Right. right? And it it brings yeah. further edification of of not um what was it um making excess prayers. Right. To be seen in the sight of men. Where is it at? You know where it is. Uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 6. It, uh, it was Matthew 6 and 2. <laughs> Therefore, when thou doest thy alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I send to you, they have their reward. So don't come before the whole table and give this elaborate prayer before you eat this food. And this is the thing that we learned to do. And Yate, right, we have been taught to do that. Right, and Yate didn't even do that. So, you know, 
So we have to be very mindful of the things that we do, not to be seen in the sight of men. Amen. Praise God for that. Now we know. Right. Just bless it and give thanks for the drink. That's right. And enjoy what Allah has provided. Right. Simplicity. All yeah. right. All right, brothers and sisters. Hopefully we become prayer warriors. <laughs> Shabbat Amen. <laughs> Tell them, everyone.